Welcome back. So to edit a customer, we need to first find the customer we want to edit. Ta-da! But to do that, we need code looking just the same like when we deleted a customer. We also had to find the customer before we could delete him. So it sounds like we can actually reuse some code here and to not end up duplicating too much code, I want to make a function now that can just find a customer using an ID. And again, I'm just going to keep it simple for now. <laughs> Later we'll do it in a different way. But what I want to do is I want to make a new method here and let's just write it manually this time. I'll say private static. It'll return a customer this time and I'll say find customer by ID. So I'm trying to find a customer by his ID. The name should explain that using Pascal casing here. Um, what I want this to actually do is the first part from line 78 here and all the way down to line 88. Um, sorry, it's actually further, line 92 right here. That's actually what I wanted to do. So I wanted to ask me the question. I wanted to, when I put in a number, try and find the actual customer like this. So I'll grab all of this and put it up here in my new method, paste it in. And then if I actually find the customer, I'll just return him right here, customer found, like this. So let me just try and see if I can actually just move the console a little bit so you can see all of the code here for the find customer because it's actually not that much code we have right here. There we go. Um, so I can make this simpler and I'm going to do that right now because actually I don't want this variable variable to be here anymore. It's not required anymore. So I'll just remove it and instead I'll say I'll keep the loop running and if I don't find anything, I'll end up by returning null. But if I actually find the customer, I'll just return him directly in here. So this is a way you can actually save a variable because as soon as I find the actual customer, I'll just return him. I don't have to keep running uh, through the loop. And if I don't find the customer, I'll just return null. So I didn't find him. Okay. We need to fix the delete because I just destroyed that for now. And the easy way is pretty much just to add a variable customer found like we have right here and say find customer by ID. There we go. Now we are back to actually the code that we started out with, except we just extracted find customer into its own method. So now it's actually able to be reused next time when we do the edit customer.